Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn the colorblind mode on in RuneLight. It's a very useful feature for people who cannot see certain colors. There are three different colorblind modes at the time of making this video. There are the Protonope, the Tritonope, and the Deutronope. So to uh, turn on these colorblind options, you need to open up the wrench configuration in the top right, select this wrench, and then type in GPU. Now the GPU plugin also is the render distance plugin, so when you enable it, it's actually going to slow down your computer for a second, if you have a slower computer that is, um, as it's going to uh, re relook at all the items in the game to uh, get a stronger draw distance as well as change the colors of them. So make sure you're not in combat when you're doing this, as you may uh, freeze for a second, which could cause you to die. So before you turn it on, go ahead and select the edit plugin configuration cog. And then the very bottom, there's the color blindness correction mode. And you can select the protonope, the deutronope, and the tritonope options. And uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and turn on the plugin. Uh, as you can see, I also had a longer draw distance. And I'll show you what the, the normal draw distance is. So here's tritonope. And I apologize if I, if I pronounce these wrong. Uh, here's the deutronope. And here is the protonope colors. And I currently have a longer draw distance on. As you can see, I have, um, I'm loading more. If you don't want to have the draw distance be extended, but you do want to have that color blindness mode on, the default draw distance is 25. So if I turn it to 25 um, and click off it, there we go, uh, you'll see that my draw distance is going to be the same. And if I disable the plugin, no, uh, no further features are. Uh, are included. So uh, if you want to not have further draw distance, maybe your computer can't handle it. 25 is the default that the vanilla client uses, and then you can select the color blindness and then uh, whichever one you need. And then just make sure the plugin is enabled. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any other rune light features you'd like me to make or any other general old school runescape videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, definitely take a look at that. Again, I hope you found this video useful. And I'll see you all in my next video.